Today I'm gonna to go over my top 10 stealth tips and what settings and parameters I use in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This was a request from user Luis Salgado. I don't normally make videos like this, but let's get started. When you are in the mood for some stealth, first thing you want to do is pick either the Panther class or the Echelon class. They each come with a set of stealth bonuses that you will want to take advantage of. So we're going to do a quick rundown of those two classes before getting into the top 10 list. With the Panther class, my preferred stealth class, you get three class proficiencies. In the Shadows, Swift Steps, and Silent Death. In the Shadows makes you harder to spot when you remain in the dark. Swift Steps increases your movement speed so when you are crouch walking and walking while aiming you will move a bit faster too. And Silent Death removes the decrease in damage by suppressors for both pistols and SMGs. Lastly, the Panther class gives you a cloaking spray which renders the player invisible for 30 seconds. Although the spray can be effective, I wouldn't rely on it too much because if enemies are suspicious or aware of your presence, it seems to not work very effectively anymore. With the Echelon class, you get three class proficiencies, Master of Shadows, Handgun Proficiency, and Reflex Shot. In the Shadows makes you harder to spot while in stealth, Handgun Proficiency increases your damage output with pistols, and Reflex Shot lets you auto-aim headshots on enemies if you are in the process of getting spotted by them within 150 meters. Lastly, the Echelon class gives you a shock pistol which is great for stealthily taking down targets as well as disabling machines. Overall, after looking at the two classes and dumping hours into both, I would say go Panther. It's more of a Ghost Recon stealth class as opposed to an afterthought Splinter Cell themed class. Now that we covered those two classes, let's get into my 10 stealth tips. First tip, after selecting your class, I would add a weapon review buff while you are still at your bivouac. That way you get a plus 20 boost to accuracy. Second tip, go in with a plan. Have a look at the map and get a good layout of the area. Pay some mind to enemy movement paths and see who's patrolling what area. Third tip, when you do enter a base, start with all the roof snipers and tower snipers first. Have your men take them out right off the bat. Use your drone for this and quickly mark them for your team. This will get those snipers out of the way for you. Fourth tip, if you come across any unmanned guns or generators, disable them. Fifth tip, stick to the outside of the base and then work your way in after clearing along the edges of the base. Work your way completely around the map and then start to work your way in. This will ensure no surprises from hostiles that are patrolling the area around the edges of the base. Sixth tip, attack at night and utilize your night vision goggles. Seventh tip, hide bodies if you can. Enemies may spot a fallen comrade and the base could potentially end up on high alert, thus making the situation more difficult for you and your team. Eighth tip is to take your time, move at a decent pace, but don't get ahead of yourself. I know it can be very tempting to want to Rambo stealth the base when those targets are an eye shot, but rather than immediately firing on a target you just spotted, pull back a bit and make sure no one is around that target you have your sights on. This is sort of an extension to tip number two, which was to have a plan going into a mission. Ninth tip, use CQC takedowns when you can. They are effective and they are very quiet. Tenth tip, use bullet lures. If there are targets bunched up and you know you can't take them all down, use that lure to separate those hostiles. That will allow for an easier time taking them out. So those are the 10 stealth tips. Let's quickly go over what settings and parameters I use. These are my ghost experience parameters. I have the gear level turned off and I have the difficulty of enemies set to extreme. Let's go into those custom settings now. So on the interface menu guys, I pretty much have everything turned off. This is when I do want to play no HUD, but if I do want a little bit of HUD elements when I am playing say co-op for example, I might turn on team markers um, and I may also turn on my compass. But other than that, I tend to leave things all off and uh, that's just how I enjoy playing the game. These are my gameplay settings and my camera and aiming settings. Sometimes I also like to keep my camera distance on dynamic as well, but for the most part I like to keep it close. Now for my tactical and team settings, I really wanted to point out the fact that I have health regeneration turned off. This will make the game a little bit more in tune to the older Ghost Recon titles where there was no health regeneration. So if you want a bit of a challenge, I would make sure you have that turned off as well. I know it says I have my teammate special abilities turned off, but I do sometimes play with them as well. But for the most part, I like to turn them off. So those are my settings and my top 10 stealth tips. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.